What if we told you a glimpse of paradise does exist on Earth, and you can find that paradise in the beautiful country of Antigua and Barbuda? Much more than just an array of dazzling white sand beaches, Antigua and Barbuda is a sun-drenched aquamarine dream of a country. The land is filled with history and culture, allowing visitors to get way more than just a golden tan. From beautiful resort hotels and waterfront events to restaurants filled with delicious local cuisine and exciting nightlife, visitors will get to experience it all during an amazing vacation to the Caribbean islands. And we are here to help by listing 10 things you should definitely do when you visit the stunning country of Antigua and Barbuda. Number 5, 3, and 1 are our favorites. Number 10. Frigate Bird Sanctuary, Barbuda Barbuda's Frigate Bird Sanctuary is a haven for birders. Accessible only by boat, the bird sanctuary lies in Barbuda's Northwest Lagoon and is home to one of the largest nesting colonies of frigate birds in the Caribbean. These large seabirds are known for their bright red gullets and one and a half meter wingspan. The reserve also attracts about 150 other species of birds such as herons, cormorants, and pelicans. One fun thing you could totally do here is to dress up as Snow White and make it look like the birds are trying to help you like in the 1937 Disney version. Number 9. Pillars of Hercules Judging by how the rock formation looks, it won't be surprising if Hercules did in fact do something here. This wall of sinewy cliffs is surely one of the most breathtaking rock formations in the Caribbean. They loom high above some popular snorkeling and sailing spots, looking chiseled and carved with their countless crevices and alcoves. It is truly a wonder how perfectly carved it looks. The evening is one of the best times to come and gaze at them, when the sun casts a deep yellow glow over the stone before setting in the west. Number 8. Museum of Antigua and Barbuda The Museum of Antigua and Barbuda is a great place to visit to get a feel for the history of these beautiful islands. One great thing is that the exhibits are all contained in one room, and they cover topics such as the island's geological origins, colonial history, slavery, archaeology, sports, and political independence in 1981. So, you just soak up not just the country's history, but that of early colonials. Highlights include a full-scale replica of an Arawak dwelling, as well as pottery, weaving tools, and exhibits on the island's different ecosystems. The museum is located in the former 18th century courthouse in Street John's. Number 7. Devil's Bridge, Indian Town National Park, Antigua Sounds like the name of a location in an RPG game, but it actually exists. Heck, if you time it right with the waves and you are in a Gandalf the Grey costume shouting, you shall not pass. We believe you will get the picture of the decade. Along the rugged northeast coast, the dramatic scenery of Indian Town National Park features the natural limestone devil's bridge, sculpted over the centuries by the pounding surf. You see at high tide, continuous waves force geysers of water through blowholes in the nearby rock. Devil's Bridge is a breathtaking and eye-opening geological wonder. 6. Street Johns, Antigua It is almost impossible to avoid a visit to Antigua's capital of Street Johns, and it's well worth it. Street John is a kaleidoscope of candy-hued colonial cottages and market stalls piled high with tropical fruits and flowers. Looming above the skyline are the white neo-baroque towers of Street John's Cathedral, one of the city's most distinctive buildings and a perfect picture for a greeting card. To soak up more stories from Antibas past, take a stroll around Betty's Hope, the 17th-century ruins of the island's largest sugar plantation. A small museum here highlights the lives of the slaves who built it. And for the Insta crowd, be sure to head to the cruise ship port or street, where there are colorful walls that make for the perfect photo backdrop. Number 5. Nelson's Dockyard National Park, Antigua Nelson's Dockyard National Park, in English Harbor, is a hot spot for tourists, packed with multiple attractions. Its main claim to fame is that it remains the only continuously operating Georgian dockyard in the world. It's home to Antigua's former 18th-century British naval dockyard, which was inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List in July 2016. Through a visit, you can learn more about the dockyard's rich history at the Dockyard Museum in the former Admiral's House. You can also soak up the ambience by wandering around all the beautifully restored stone warehouses, 
which contrasts strikingly with the glitzy super yachts in the arena. If you want to explore a little further afield, the area is also home to some of the island's best nature trails, which lead to historic forts with panoramic views. The park is also home to the 18th century Clarence House, originally built for the future King William IV. Frankly speaking, the whole park gives an Assassin's Creed vibe that is just intoxicating. Gamers know what we are talking about. Number 4. Dickinson Bay, Antigua Be sure to include Dickinson Bay on your things to do in Antigua list when visiting the island. Laid-back beachgoers can sunbathe or swim near the dolphins that sometimes show their faces on this beach, while thrill-seekers can engage in a variety of water sports. From Dickinson Bay, it is possible to go on a boat tour of the surrounding bay or on a picnic with good company. Protected by an offshore reef, the bay is great for swimming, and you will easily find activity booths along the sand, renting everything you need for other aquatic activities, including jet skiing, snorkeling, and kayaking. The bay is also the hub for Antigua's windsurfing scene. Dickinson Bay is also home to the iconic red phone booth, which features in many a tourist's Instagram photo op. Number 3. 17 Mile Beach Barbuda This untouched and largely untrodden Isle of Barbuda is home to a whopping 17 miles of tranquility. It runs along the western edge of the island, backed by patches of seagrasses and sand dunes. Almost always deserted and empty, the occasional yacht drifts by and the breezy winds are great for taking the edge off the tropical heat. Those who lay eyes on Barbuda's 17-mile beach will probably never see a more ravishing stretch of coast. Strolling along these sublime shores is one of the most popular things to do in Barbuda. The sand here is soft as flour, and its remote location means you can walk for miles and not see another soul. A sense of calmness and peace most of us need. You can either access the beach by boat, or if you prefer a bird's eye view, fly over it in a helicopter. Insider's Tip This beach has no facilities and no shade, so if you're not on an organized tour, you should bring your own food and water, as well as plenty of sun protection. Number 2. Stingray City, Antigua If you have a lifelong fear of stingrays, this fun face-to-face -face adventure should banish those fears forever. Stingray City is a shallow pool with a sandy bottom amid a tropical reef, where hundreds of friendly southern stingrays glide through the crystal clear waters waiting to be fed by visitors. Depending on your comfort level, you can stand, swim, or snorkel with them. And after your encounter, you can explore the surrounding coral reefs. Feeling their smooth, savvy bodies rush against your skin is a highlight of this exhilarating adventure. The trip to Stingray City is one of the most popular things to do in Antigua and is the perfect experience for anyone eager to get up close and personal with the region's curious marine life. Number 1. Half Moon Bay, Antigua Words can't describe how beautiful Half Moon Bay is. Just take a moment to see how beautiful this place is. Protected by a reef, this idyllic crescent of fine white sand and azure sea, backed by natural foliage, offers excellent snorkeling on calm days. This beach is a sight to behold. And when the wind is up, the surf can be rough, but that shouldn't be a problem for any Point Break fans. For an island that's small, Antigua sure packs a lot of punch, and we love that there's something here for every interest. That is all we have for you today. If you found this video insightful, then let us know by hitting the like button, and also the red subscribe channel to subscribe to our channel. You can also share this video with your friends and family and use it as a guide for your next family vacation. Thank you for watching. Till next time.